In this video, we're going to review how to manage and utilize your search results. Here we have already conducted a search and my search results have populated on the right hand side. You can click on the property and get a preview of the property highlights, as well as any listings currently available. And you can click on full page to see more information. This will provide you more information about the property, listings, and any type of historical or tenant information we have available. Clicking the back key to see the rest of the results. This view here that we're looking at is the map view. You have other view options available to you in the upper right hand corner. Clicking on the grid view allows you to see the thumbnails of all of the properties that are available to you from your search. And it also gives you cert sorting features. From here, you can sort through property information. The most commonly used view is the list view. Clicking on the list view in the upper right hand corner, you'll see that the listings have populated and the first view you should see populates with the building information with the listing information directly below it. This part of the view again allows you to sort by property information. However, if you uncheck the group by property, you'll see just the listings themselves. And this right here is probably the most common view because it gives you the most information about the listing. You'll see information such as the square footage, price, and if you're looking for sale, you'll see things like cap rate, and by lease, you'll see things like your NNN rates, as well as the broker information. Once you are ready to view your listings, you can select them individually. There is an all button, and if you have under 250 listings, it will let you select all. In any case, whether you've accidentally selected too many or ones that you don't wanna view in your reports or in your lists, You'll notice here right next to the analyze button, there is an X that you can do to deselect all of those. Once you've looked through the listings and you've decided which ones you want to save, you have an option to save them to a list. And saving them to a list allows you to come back to them later without having to run a search again or share a list with your clients. So selecting on the listings here, let's say I would like to save these listings to view later or share with my client. I selected them and I'm going to click on save to list at the top. From here, I'm going to create new list in the bottom right hand corner and give it a quick name. Now I'm going to click save and you'll notice in the bottom here that it lets me know that my new list has been successfully saved. I'm going to head to the top blue banner and click on list to view the list that I have and click on the one I just made called training webinar. Here you can see the four listings that I added to this list. You have an option to sort through them just as you did before, but you also have an option to sort them manually. This allows you to place the listings in the order that you want them to appear in. Click on save, and the listings are now in the order that I would like them in. From here, I can click the report button and the reports will allow me to pull the reports just as I would from the main screen, but this time the listings will appear in the order that I want them to appear in. As mentioned, you can also share this list with other clients by clicking the share button. This allows you to generate a unique URL to this list by clicking get shareable link. This allows you to copy the link and share with your clients. At any point in time that you'd like to stop sharing this link, click on stop sharing and the URL link that you've provided to your clients will cease to exist. If at any time that you want to remove listings from the list, simply uncheck them and they will fall off. If you would like to add new listings to a list, go back to your search, run a search or your previous one and select new listings. Then click save to list and select the list that you would like to add it to. I'm going to add it back to the same one, to the training webinar. It lets me know that I've successfully updated it. So I'm going to click on the list and hit the refresh button. And as I click on training webinar, you'll then notice that the new listings that I have added are on my list as well. This is a great option to put listings off to the side, as we've mentioned, to view later or share with clients. Please see the next video on creating reports for both property and listing reports.